Need is live with the very latest. Rob. Good evening to you both. Tamana, as you mentioned, Jackson was indeed vaccinated back uh, January 8th of this year. Folks out here on the south side here uh, wish him well as they recover. Tonight, a statement sent to WGN News, which reads in part, quote, Reverend Jesse L. Jackson, senior 79, and Mrs. Jacqueline Jackson, 77, have both tested positive for COVID-19 virus and are at Northwestern Hospital. Doctors are currently monitoring the condition of both. Anyone who has been around either of them for the last five or six days should follow the CDC guidelines, end quote. Um, that's very unfortunate. Natasha White says it's sad knowing the Jacksons are going through this, but it's also eye-opening at the same time. Basically, no one is exempt from it, even if you take the proper precautions. Well, I hope he gets better able to quarantine and nothing gets more serious than it already is for him. WGN News was there when Reverend Jackson got the COVID-19 vaccine January 8th, and seven months later, he's tested positive. Tonight, Mayor Lori Lightfoot sending out a tweet saying, quote, sending prayers and wishing a speedy recovery to Reverend Jackson and his wife, Jacqueline, end quote. Southside resident Keith Murray wishes the Jacksons well. He says this is just another example of why he continues to stay indoors for the most part. The country is in a, a very, very bad pandemic right now. I know a lot, a lot of people, my own, my, myself, close to me that died of the COVID. Also, some was vaccinated and some weren't. Tonight, a spokesperson from Jackson's camp told me they were not sure if Mrs. Jackson was vaccinated or not. Reporting live on the city's south side, Rob Sneed, WGN News. All right, Rob, thanks very much.